In this video, we're gonna be talking about artificial shrimp, specifically how to rig artificial shrimp. Should they be rigged head forward, right, where they're moving with the head forward, or should they be rigged with the head in the back where, where they're getting retrieved, moving backwards, right? Like a scared shrimp is, is moving backwards pretty quickly, but a, a, a shrimp that's not scared is generally moving forward more slowly. And so which style is best, if any, right, in what situations, would one outperform the other? And so I'll cover that in this video and then also explain the, some, some situations, or at least the majority of the situations, when it really doesn't matter because the, the number one thing, the number one focus is, is, first of all, the situation you're in. Do you want it to be super slow or do you actually want it to, to, you know, to move fairly quick and get a reaction strike? And so once you determine that, then it's really about just putting the focus on, on the, the key area and that is just how does the, how does the, the lure, how does it look in the water for the specific situation? And the answer is that it's almost always about the motion, except when you're going super slow. So when you're going super slow, the fish are very lethargic, you know where the fish are, this, this, is, this is a really good option. If the, if the fish are keyed in shrimp, the head first option enables you to go very slow, Right, you can get this right in their face and it'll look, it'll look natural. And it'll look like they're not yet scared, which often means they're gonna be an easy target. The con though, is that you can't cover a lot of water very effectively with these types of lures because they have to be worked slow. So if you don't know exactly where the fish are, they're gonna be a little bit harder to find simply because you can't move very quickly. And conversely, right, the type where you're actually imitating a scared shrimp uh, now you can actually move the shrimp more quickly, which is, will enable you to cover more ground, right? And so, it, so I generally use this style where the, the, I use a jig head and then a shrimp body with the head going backwards because now I can, I can cast, you know, I can cover a lot of ground. I'm doing the double twitch, 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 looks like a scared shrimp. Now it's settling down and almost always the bite will happen as it's settling down because that twitch, twitch, that'll catch the fish's eye that'll make them interested and you'll get a reaction strike as the shrimp is falling because they're gonna go, they're thinking that they're picking off an easy meal. And so, so again, the key is to figure out which one you go, right? Super slow, you know where the fish are and you just wanna get something really slow and get right in their face. Or if you're not sure where the fish are, you're exploring new waters and, and you, you're really looking for the reaction strike, this will be the option in that, uh, in that scenario. And so a question came in recently on, on gulp shrimp and specifically on, you know, should they be rigged from the head or from the tail, right? And the answer is it can be rigged both ways. And, and a lot of people overthink this, that it has to look like perfect in the water because the reality is it's about the motion in the water. If you're going after a reaction strike, it's more about the motion. So here is a gulp shrimp with the tail cut off. Right, and this, happens, this usually happens pretty quickly. You know, pinfish and stuff love these things. They'll go up there and peck at it. It will take off the tail. I've caught some of my best fish with, uh, with shrimp after the tail has been cut off. So, so they technically don't look, you know, perfectly like a shrimp, right? Like if we were, saw this at a tackle store, we'd think it's a piece of junk. But again, if you, uh, if you give it good motion in the water, if it's rigged properly, it cannot be helicoptering. That's the number one, the, the number one mistake most people make. And I'll put a link down below on how to rig these things. They cannot be helicoptering. If it's rigged properly and you give it a good reaction, a, a, good, a good scared shrimp motion in the water, the fish are gonna react to it. You're gonna get a reaction strike. It is surprisingly good. I actually caught a, a 38 inch snook while fishing with Otis and uh, it was with a, a shrimp just like this. The tail was cut off um, and I was just out there uh, just actually uh, dodging a, a rainstorm, cut, killing some time and I hooked into a big old snook and, uh, and it was a great catch again. And it was on this little small nub, basically a soft plastic nub, but I gave it good action in the water. The snook thought it was a shrimp and it came up and smacked it. And so a great way to actually save money when using these is, is over time, you know, I always start rigging it from the head. And then as the, as the tail gets, gets cut off, then I'll actually turn it around because eventually this is just gonna get too soft and too just worn out and it won't be able to stay on the hook. And then I'll actually get the jig head and I will rig it from the tail side and again, as long as it's not helicoptering, it will look good in the water and it'll catch fish. So again, so now here is a gulp shrimp, right? Rigged from the tail. And this is gonna be streamlining the water. 
and this will actually catch a good amount of fish. So this is a good way to, again, just get more bang for your buck when you're using these shrimp lures. And so uh, another, uh, another shrimp lure that, uh, that I actually love is this right here. And a lot of people don't think that this is a shrimp lure, but again, it's all about the motion in the water. It's not about what it looks like to us on land. And so this lure, it was surely designed to be a, a bait fish, but again, we give it a double twitch, let it fall, it looks just like a shrimp, a scared shrimp that is, that is scared up and then settling back down and fish absolutely love it. So this is actually what I use more frequently. So I, I use you know, actually split tails like this more frequently than I, than I use these, these slower shrimp patterns. Because again, in most cases, I, I just love exploring new waters. And so I, I, I need to be covering ground. And so I opt for this option where, again, I'm able to resemble the scared shrimp cover ground and get the reaction strikes that I'm looking for. All right, well, that's it for now. Just wanted to share with you at least what I've seen over the years on shrimp. I've, try, I've tried just a ton of different shrimp lures. So far, I haven't found just one solution that is like a one size fits all across the board. In, in most cases, it's really situational. In, in, a, in many cases, it goes with whichever one you use the, use the most, you're gonna be the best at, and whichever one you have the most confidence in, you're gonna be the best at. So me, for me personally, it's actually this jerk, this split tail jerk style. Um, I, I, do, I use this more often than not when I'm looking for a shrimp imitation pattern, or I like the gulp shrimp on a jig head. You know, both work great. However, you know, these are really popular as well, and there's a lot of different versions of this, and I know a lot of people catch a ton of fish with it, as well as you know, just other different, uh, other different shrimp patterns that can be rigged on a jig head or even or even weighted hook. So if you have seen any any one particular shrimp lure that is just that is by far the best in, in a specific situation, I'd love to hear your feedback. So please don't hesitate to use the comment section down below. I read every one of these messages and I'm always looking for new ideas on uh, on using lures to go out and catch more and bigger fish. So thank you so much for your time and watching this video. Again, leave a comment down below if you have any, uh, any ideas or suggestions or recommendations. Otherwise, see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today There's nothing better on a Saturday night Than an ice cold beer and a fish fry And talking about the beer the God away Cause fishing It's in my soul It was passed down to me From the days of old You'll find us on the water If they